the betting, uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Welcome to the last segment of the selection show where we're going to give you our suggested bets on the day. My best bet on the day comes up in race number two and it's going to be number seven, Golden Chandelier from the Tony Peter Yard with Calvin Habib aboard. This one has been racing against some strong company and if you look at the comments there in the last start, in command. I'm, I'm expecting this to take an absolute power of beating. I'm very, very strong on number seven, Golden Chandelier in race number two. Then we've got two value bets on the day. The first one comes up in race number seven. That is number 12, War Empress from the Louis Cousin Yard with the Chase Majan aboard. I know the source does have a little bit of a tricky draw to contend with, but the source has run well in the past from tough draws. So we're going to play the tote double because the next value bet comes up in race number eight, and it is number 12, Love in Winter from the Allison Wright Yard. And this horse is uh, dropped in the merit ratings overall. So the last run was very, very good, finishing 2.35 lengths behind Don Carrari, made up a substantial amount of ground on that occasion. I do believe that the source is quite well in here in race number eight. So the value bets for me is going to be Golden Chandelier, sorry, the best bet is going to be Golden Chandelier in race two, number seven, just running a recap through that, then number 12 in race seven and number 12 in race eight. We're gonna get on to that tote double races seven and eight, 12 by 12. I'm now going to hand you over to Rahil and he's going to give us his suggested bets. Thanks very much, Stavon. I've gone with a place accumulator for racing out at Hollywood Bets Gravel on Sunday. It begins in race number two at five past one. Leg one, banker number seven, golden chandelier, followed by three and nine in leg number two. I'm taking a chance in leg number two, which is race three, just going those two horses, followed by numbers two, three, seven, by three, eight, eleven by six, seven, 12, by five and eight, by four and five. And that uh, is the place accumulator. And uh, yeah, I think, it, I think it's a pair that uh, we can certainly double up in, in a couple of the legs and uh, hopefully uh, come out with a reasonable uh, dividend, uh, reasonable uh, return on our investment after the running of race number eight out at Hollywood Bets Gravel. It does look to be a competitive card with a few tricky races, especially race number six, that Phillies and Mayors 85 handicap where you can make a case for a number of runners. And uh, if uh, a few of the favorites happen to um, go missing along the way, well then tickets will certainly drop and that dividend will just increase. But that is my suggested bet. Devon has given you he suggested bet, best bet on the card, race two, number seven, Golden Chandelier, and then his two value bets in races seven and eight. He's taking that to double, the last double, both uh, numbers uh, 12. So race seven, number 12, race eight, number 12. We wish you all the best with racing out at Hollywood Bets Gravel on Sunday. Hopefully it's a profitable day's racing, and hopefully we've managed to guide you in the right direction, and you find lots of winners. Hi, it's Donovan Evercha from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.